basking in the basics, understanding in the sun. Hello, wonderful learners. Welcome back to our English language journey. Today, we're basking in the glow of a new expression, in the sun. This phrase is a ray of light in English conversations, and by the end of this video, you'll be shining bright, using it confidently in your daily English. So, let's soak up some knowledge. When we say someone or something is, in the sun, we're talking about the most straightforward meaning, being physically located where the sunlight is reaching. Imagine the warmth of the sunlight on your skin. This can be used for people, animals, and objects alike. It's a simple yet vibrant way to describe the position relative to the sunlight. Examples, let's sit in the sun and enjoy our lunch. I left my clothes in the sun to dry. Beyond the literal, in the sun, has some figurative shades of meaning. It can signify being in a spotlight or receiving attention, much like a performer on stage under the bright lights. Examples, after her novel became a bestseller, she was suddenly in the sun, with interviews and book signings galore. The startup has been in the sun since winning the Innovation Award. In idiomatic English, in the sun, can be part of larger expressions or sayings that have a meaning you can't always guess from the individual words. Example, make hay while the sun shines. This means to make the most of one's opportunities while conditions are favorable. Sometimes, in the sun, appears in cultural references, such as song titles or lyrics, and its meaning can be more abstract or artistic. Example, here comes the sun. This phrase might evoke feelings of hope and the start of a new, better period. I hope you're now feeling enlightened on how to use the phrase, in the sun. Whether you're speaking literally about soaking up some rays, figuratively about being in the limelight, or exploring idiomatic and cultural expressions, you're ready to shine in your English conversations. Keep practicing, stay sunny, and I'll see you in our next video. Happy learning!